Jenna numbers, which they have not played, I feel like, in at least a tiny bit. No, uh, I think we saw them last week. Was it last week? Pretty sure. Maybe. With that said, though, anyway. um, historically, Jen does pretty well in this matchup. Um, but I, 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 in total, in general, um, the uh, I, I, you know, this, John has been playing really hot uh, after falling into losers. Um, really showing kind of a, a dominance in that game number three versus Zamba, and really a, a great game number one versus Sinji as well. It is a matter of can that momentum carry over against a player who plays a completely different style of play and a player who probably has an even stronger ledge trapping than Zamba and Sinji. And I'm going to be completely honest here. Every single time we've seen Jen and Numbers play, it's completely dependent on how well, either numbers can play at the corner and completely displace every single time, or completely displace, sorry, Jen, every single time he wants to do anything. And it's kind of the exact opposite on the other side, because it's also how well can Jen actually play at the corner? How well can Jen ledge trap numbers? And if he's going to fall for every single, you know, trick in the book that John has at ledge. Yeah, that balance is definitely going to be a deal breaker in this set. However, right now, Jen getting off a whole lot of percent on to John, a quick 43. And once again, John back to the corner. This is the interaction we described as so, so vital in this set. And then another quick ledge trap, by um, by Jen. However, um, one thing that, jo that that John has that we have seen in the past where Jen has been ledge trapping players is John has soccer ball, has header, which is a great tool to get at a disadvantage for Weefa Trainer. It can make it really tough to, for Jen to get a consistent ledge trap when that soccer ball is putting on pressure. Absolutely, and we're getting back into this and very nice grab from Jen. And I actually thought he was going to put him right back off stage, but again, um, this is kind of... One of the things where it's kind of like Jen has to be completely, completely conscious of how he's actually punishing everything John has, like that back air right there taking that stock. And again, that's really huge um, for you know that legend track. John doing that legend. Oh, oh, you died! Oh, no, you didn't! No, you died. Oh, you went that deep? I'm shocked because like the spike thing, like. Normally we'll just like kill really close to the bottom unless it, did, unless it didn't spike. No, but it did. It was the, it was the kick. It spiked, the kick. and it, it did. But did it kill? No. No. Oh. That was great though. Recognition. Mm -hmm. The recognition as soon as John put out the deep breathing. Jen is like, you are dying. You're exploding. And Jen, no reaction at all. Um, and John suffering, exploding. Absolutely. And then Jen. One game away from winning Xeno number 223. Absolutely. And we're actually going to small battlefield. So the thing about this stage, which I'm not really too you know, confident on, is specifically because it kind of applies the same situation as PS2 that we normally love seeing. But for the simple added fact is that we're definitely going to be scrapping a whole yeah, lot more than usual. It's essentially the same layout as PS2, since the platforms are even lower to the floor and um, the stage is smaller, and so you die earlier. Um, not only that, um, ooh, damage, okay. John coming out strong, though. John can scrap, like, let's not kid ourselves. Mm -hmm. Even though uh, we, you know, Jen would be the play that we would assume is going to be the one wanting to scrap, John can. And once John gets into advantage state, he optimizes his damage so, so well, and does just that right now, putting Jen back into the corner, looking for the exit on the neutral getup, though. A roll rehearsal once again. Jen has John into the corner. Dare, bear. That's the Jen special right there. And that's gonna be uh, another bear? Not quite. Okay. Okay, definitely need to get back to the stage right here because again, ooh, that was yeah, not a positive trade for Jen at all. Okay, back to stage. Ooh. Definitely very nice on numbers part. Actively being aware of what Jen actually wanted on that ledge trap right there has been looking for a lot of those dash attacks. But John, or sorry, Jen is going to get that deep. Uh, you know what? I, I think I should stop talking. <laughs> I'm confusing everything. Jen, anyways, put out the explosive flame to cast John during the deep breathing. Thank uh, you. <laughs> there you go. Um, with that said, uh, still relatively even game thus far for. Um, Jen and John, 
Uh, John, once again, trying to hit that ledge. Good positioning for Jen. That detail does, in fact, hit ledge. Super duper active. Gonna get that, that uh, Nair into the fair. Doesn't quite hit. Back to the platform for John. We're rolling? No, get him attack immediately. Back air. We're still at the percent range, but that is true. Almost you with that there, but an instant read on that roll right there for Jen. Nice reaction, um, and we're looking at a great position for Jen here. Nair, what's the recovery? Okay, we're back with the normal OB. Is ah, that's hitting? the nerfs. Mm -hmm. There they are. The grab Ooh. nerf may end up costing wow. um, Jen that stock. That back nerf definitely would have killed. And explosive almost enough. John will come back with soccer ball. I definitely love a lot of the ways that Jen has been avoiding a lot of these tools. Like header, wow. like sun salutation has completely just been air dodging all the way through them. And uh -oh. wow. You, you need to be very die. careful. No jump. Yeah, you might just die. Wow. Nope. Okay, just barely makes it back to the stage there, getting past the down tilt. And you just kind of saw John got a literal inch there and took it a mile. Uh, so getting a lot of percent though. Back to the corner though. Nice, that's pretty safe on block. Ooh, and that was a very good mix up. However, John is going to back air you in the back. Because that was not the face. But again, th John has been completely controlling this ledge as we've been seeing as much as you know John has been trying to ledge trap. John just feels super comfortable here and knows exactly what he needs to do. Yeah, and you know, after being down a decent amount of percent in that first stock, or second stock, I should say, John really um, made a huge comeback, similar to kind of the one we saw against Zamba. That is going to be enough, though, that Nair into up tilt, and Jen is right back into this game. We've seen how much damage Jen has been able to get out of single advantage stage. One ledge trap can be an easy 60 70, the next ledge trap can be your life. So we're going to see if Jen can manage to uh, keep that up. However, it is going to be John right now with the advantage, yeah. and he's going to take that game. We're going to a game three, set number one in grand finals. Absolutely, and that was very good on John's part. Definitely still utilizing the corner as we already know John loves to do, but to the added effect of completely, again, making sure that it's very hard for Jen to follow up off of these things, and once he stopped completely just like, you know, um, avoiding a lot of the hitboxes that John throws out, it makes it very hard for Jen to do what he needs to do in order to take the game. And with that said, it is going to be this game number three, a final game number three, I think. Uh, we're going to go right back. We're running it straight back to Small Battlefield. We're going to see if this um, does come back to bite Jen, but I can't imagine that it will. This is kind of one of those stages that um, Pal's really good at, and not only that, uh, we saw how proficient Jen was on this stage last game. Okay, look at that mix-up on shield. Gets the Nair out. Okay, we need some damage for Jen. I've taken quite a bit of protection from John in the very beginning of that game. Okay, responding back in kind with an evil amount of percent of his own. Okay, no jump from John too. It has to air dodge. Wow, and the tracking by Jen is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Almost died there, though. Absolutely. I definitely feel like, along a side of the effect of just sometimes it's not always the best for, you know, Jen to ledge trap, I definitely feel like a lot of the time, Jen probably wants to favor a lot more of just juggling, and not only juggling, ledge trapping again, like, rather than a lot of these situations where he's trying to avoid dying to um, John pretty early, and then also save, you know, those ledge traps for the situation, or those um, edge guards, sorry, for the situation where he really needs to kill numbers. Okay, it's a tricky situation to deal with against Palatina. They're supposed to be on shield as she is landing. Um, kind of becomes like a rock, paper, scissors moment. However, that back, you're going to be almost up to the stock for uh, Jen, but that fair from John is going to do the exact opposite and put him up in a one stock lead over Jen, and already has gotten a little bit of percent on the board. Very nice reaction right there from Jen. But we're still in a very Ooh. bad situation for Jen here, and Jen is wow. trying to look for this kill right here. You can definitely see as much. However, ooh, that dash tag isn't going to actually take it, and we're kind of struggling here for Jen. Jen? That's it. Yeah. Period. 
And, and, and the thing is, like, John was really not afraid to just stay in shield knowing that the best thing that Jen could do to get a macro there would have been roll behind. That is probably what he was anticipating and trying to react to there and made sure to stay in shield until he saw that option. Um, all right, though, in the corner once again. This has to be a uh, decent bit of percent here for uh, Jen. However, John reverse situation. Okay, we're getting there. Reverse situation, mix up John's DI. Okay, that's not going to be out long enough to uh, hit the soccer ball. Donald's landing back into the floor. That Nair is going to be able to track John landing back to the ground, down to the ground. Okay, fair. Looking for a tech chase though. We've been a little too floaty to get set into a lot of those tech situations from ledge. Neutral got a ping and nice reaction by Jen. Okay. This is definitely looking very scary for numbers right here because Jen is not really trying to commit to anything too much right here. He wants to make sure John is going to be the first one committing to something that Jen knows that he can punish. And it's definitely looking like that right there. Missing both of those F tilts and definitely still all not able to go deep enough just there. And wow, John even went a little bit high there to get back to the ledge and almost used that soccer ball to get a second hit. The awareness by John was really good. And that up air is enough. Aggressive option from Jen is going to be able to take that stock. That was at 135. That's yeah. so crazy. Hello. That move kills super early. Okay, nice bait by um, Numbers there. Ends up rolling in and F-tilting immediately so that Jen cannot, um, cannot respond and to get a bit of extra credit here. Right now, John making it incredibly difficult for Jen to do so. Sun is not going to be enough just yet. Almost killed right there, but a nice air dive by Jen to just barely get past it. That's Sun as well, coming out. Ooh, could have been a dash there. At least get some damage here. You do want to get some at the very least. Oh, that's going to be it. John not taking a single bit of percent um, on that stock. However, it is going to be Jen with the advantage start here, using that invincibility to put John at the ledge. Whoa, trying to read that jump there by Jen. Super good. However, did end up working out. Still has John in the corner. Ends up losing that situation, though. John goes out. Back center stage and goes right back to that corner. This is a situation where, unlike the Zamba game, I feel like John has done pretty okay in the corner despite um, the, the, the prominence of Jen's ledge traps. Absolutely. It's very hard for Jen to really want to commit to something because if he does actually commit to something, it can definitely end up in a lot of damage like we're kind of seeing right here with 79% on the board. Yeah. That, that's a little bit of a, of a telegraphed bear there. Okay, wow, big confirm right there for Jen. Almost got a stock off. Um, that sock, that uh, header is saving John. Uh, however, all this percent is back. Scary situation though, deep breathing. We've Chair could just kill you flat out right here. Absolutely, and this is definitely very scary, and we can definitely see that from Jen. Jen is very nice with these teleports, but definitely trying to be very careful about how he actually Ooh. goes about it, and very nice on John's part, actually avoiding the back air right there. And is that upper going to take it? Off down, and John wants us to be here longer because we're going to a set number two. Yep. To tone that tummy. Absolutely, period. We're toning our tummies. Mm -hmm. Tucking in our tummies. Okay. F tilt. And this was really good by John. Again, it, it was a scary situation for Gen to be in, regardless. Kind of forced out the air dodge there and did an instant short hop into the up tilt to punish. Excellent coverage by John. We're going into set number two. Where are we going? PS2, I am unsurprised. Uh, we are going to be starting here. This was where Jen won that first game with a deep, deep edge guard on John. Going to see if we can have a repeat of that magic or if John is going to continue this momentum that he's had all of this loser's run. I definitely really love the way that John has been choosing, you know, getting out of the corner in a lot of these situations because he's been showing that he's super consistent in understanding of when Jen actually wants to go for a lot of these things. Jen wants to just maybe, sometimes he wants to just sit there and just jump a little bit to kind of bait John to do header or, um, you know, a lot of situations where John can just roll specifically because of how, like, 
um, you know, position, you know, John has been so for sure. Okay. And it is again John in that corner once again. Wow, nice aggressive option by John with the ledge drop up air. Take that. Quick dare out of shield, really nice by Jen, nice recognition. Oh, I thought the dare was coming for sure. And it is gonna be John responding with his own Nair. Dead, and wow, great coverage by Jen. That's a huge stock to take. 78% only onto Jen thus far. We know how early John can take those stocks, but this is still a decent percent lead right here for uh, Jen, especially when you're able to put John back. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say when you're gonna be able to put John back in the corner again, but clearly that's what John wants. Um, and it's gonna be costly for Jen because that's gonna be his stock. And we're going to be going into an even stock number two in this game number one. Okay, quick fair grab, back air, 60% on John this far, but that stun is gonna even up that percent real quick. Oh, these are some aggressive, these are some new mix-ups from John coming off the ledge. Clicking aggressive aerials off of the ledge drop. And he does it again. And oh, oh, wow. Jen is going to get it. Two reads in a row. Reads the ledge drop. Jump. And then right after that, reads the air dodge to take that stock. Absolutely. And that was definitely very good on Jen's part. And sometimes it's kind of all that Jen really needs. He just needs that one situation. However, that's all that John needs. John needs that one F tilt in order to take that stock. Okay, that air's pretty big for Jen. Once again, John is forced to come off the ledge and a ledge trap and a nice reaction by um, Jen. Okay, we're going deep deep. All right, we're back though. Okay, nice on the uh, spot dodge read there as it's just holding jab. It's a decent amount of percent because of the held ledge. Nice holding shield there, not allowing John to get aggressive and catch a shield hook. Knows how safe that is. Okay, that nair does come out. Fair to respond. That it's also nearly hitting John. John just stripped down fast enough. That backer not fast enough, however, for Jen to get the confirm. You have Dave Breathing on hand, and is that going to play a factor in John's death? Absolutely not. And John is still at the corner, but Jen, I feel like Jen has been probably slowing it down a little bit more. You know, I def this is kind of one of the things that definitely comes up when talking about, you know, these games overall. But the one thing that Jen, I feel like he kind of has to go through is definitely a lot of stages like grief in sort of instances where, you know, he has really good advantages. And then he also has situations where he's forced to slowly change how he actually goes a lot about the situations that he goes about. Sometimes he has to, you know, change how he's consistently ledge trapping because of how well people catch on to it, like, super quickly. Uh, and uh, don't blink now. No. Uh, don't blink specifically right there, because uh, John just made, like, another don't full 150% comeback. Um, that's, like, the... The, the, the third or fourth or fifth one that he has made today. Um, and yeah, you can't you can't dip that low. John just barely going past that. And Header is active for like seven frames. Ah, goodbye! Uh, your your two frame that grab was her is, legs. Not, is, not, is not safe. Excuse me, that was her. She, she got hit with the legs. It's a big hitbox. It's a big, oh, wow. old, big old hitbox. Uh, we're going right back to PS2. And once again, uh, you know, tell me if you heard me before. Stop me if you heard me before. Uh, John's in the corner against Jen. <laughs> um, and it's again, really, I, I don't even want to say trying to get out because it, it's worked. Like, the, the, the corner play has gone thus far, I think, pretty evenly. And, and John doesn't mind that against Palo because, like, the, the advantage, they, frankly, who's had a cleaner advantage today outside of the ledge? I'd say John. His, his punish game's been a little bit stronger. Okay, quick grab on reaction. Triple nailing on the shield. No escape Absolutely. from John. Quick back by Jen. Looking to catch off the side of the stage. Yeah, you need to. I, I'm, I'm shocked that he just let it rip. Um, but John gonna go out with that and get up attack right away. Okay, gets past Jen. Quick after down soccer ball. Tries to catch the two frame with the down tilt. Ooh, and yeah, you can't. That was shield pressure. You can't grab that move. 
down tilt is pretty safe, and it's faces uh, uh, Weaver Chainer away from grabs, especially after the Palinos. You absolutely cannot punish that with a grab. Oh, soccer ball saves John. I recover by John Air looking really nice. Nice bait with the soccer ball. Hold on. Oh, goodness. This is looking eerily similar to the Zamba set now. With this kind of uh, racking up and piling on of damage that John has. Oh, absolutely. And it's definitely looking like, you know, a lot of the situations, again, is definitely where we've been seeing a lot of, you know, control from numbers. Again, it, numbers yeah. loves his, his corner. Look, we're, this, is, this is numbers' Dude. happy place. Yeah. Um, he's in the corner. He's a happy camper. Look at him go. Uh, however, getting taken on a tour of PS4 there, or PS2 there. PS4. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're into that point of the night, folks. Uh, and, and, and really, um, it has been uh, Jen making this little bit of a comeback. As, as, as I'm saying it, you know, been hyping up John in that corner. While uh, is at death percent, is Jen um, making that little bit of a comeback. And now you have John in the corner again. Got to be able to get that let's jump out. Doesn't end up working out. John mixing up so, so well. Okay, and there comes out a shield, uh, knowing that John was not going to grab there. Down throw. Oh, a jump, wow. That is a mix-up, because Jen is immediately expecting an air dodge there, because he knows that nothing is true uh, if you don't air dodge. But John essentially is on that next level of the mix-up, where, okay, now, oh, goodness gracious. This is definitely looking very scary. Oh, trades, and that trades in favor of Jen. Jen, absolutely. And right now, we're seeing Jen a little bit in the lead, and he's still at 184%. As opposed to John, where even when he was at 170%, it was always that much more scarier for, you know, okay. Jen. Okay, and this, this, at this point, any of these kind of throws will kill as well. So John is definitely going to be looking for that crab. You can see, looking for Jen to shield. Jen not really uh, giving him that opening. Effort as well will, of course, kill. Okay. <laughs> John tried it. John down a stock. <laughs> Almost end up getting us. Yeah, you're dead. Bye. That's super fun. Um, mm -hmm. With that said, though, um, we have Jen, similarly to what went on in game one, up a decent percent margin going into that last stock. This percent margin even less. Can John make that ridiculous comeback once again? Or is it going to be going into a game three here is the question that we have to ask. And that Nair is safe. Um, scary situation. This is definitely looking very scary right here. Oh, goodness gracious. Stop it on four. Oh, you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to explode. This is scary. This is, this is Juan Numeros. This is... This, why this is, is Juan? This oh, you died! Oh, Holy... Oh, 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 oh you, you're nasty. You're sick. Oh, you're, sick. Wow. you're sick. 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 Oh, my God. That was so crazy. Excuse me? Excuse me. Oh, wow. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Holy God. Nope. Nope. Mm-hmm. So, John. Yeah? Let us know. John is your Xeno 223 champion. Period. Uh, holy moly. Good mm -hmm. 